Welcome to Incredible Graphics Screen Printing Series. We're going to take you through the process to print a t-shirt from start to finish. We're going to be using Coral Draw X6 and in this part one video we're going to go over setting up the image on a t-shirt for the customer. Okay, to begin this is the uh, logo that our customers want us to create. It's uh, for a baseball team. Uh, the Cubs and it's going to be done on a royal blue shirt so when this tutorial is all said and done this is the image we'll have so let's get started the uh, first thing we're going to want to do is create the A so we'll click in the middle here write the A and we're going to change that font we're going to change it to college right down here Oh, it didn't change because we forgot to select it. So make sure you select it, grab your selection tool, make sure you grab the font, and then come in and change it to college. Okay, so now we're just going to select it and make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And we'll go ahead and go over to the right side here and make it red. All right, the next thing we want to do looking at our image is they have a white outline, and all that is is an outside contour. So we're going to come over here and click the contour button, our contour tool. And then we're going to come back to the A and click on it. We'll change it to black. Oh, notice how it came on the inside of the A. That's because we got the inside contour selected. So you want to select the outside contour and it's going to jump to the outside. And we're going to need to make the contour a little bit bigger. So it matches our, our example better. All right, that'll work for now. We're going to go ahead and leave it black so that way we can continue working on a white background and it's easier to see. The next thing we're going to create is the uh the words Cubs in 2013. So we'll grab our text tool again just somewhere up above the A, click and then we're going to sh choose the font which is going to be ballpark. And then you type it in. Grab the selection tool make it a little bit bigger so just so it kinda looks like what we want to go with and just put it off to the side there and then now we're gonna do the 2013 so use your font tool again and type it in oh we didn't select our font first no big deal use a selection tool make sure you select it come back to the top and choose ballpark again so size is a little small so we're enlarge it Put it under the Cubs, and Cubs maybe need to be stretched just a little. All right, so there they are, and you want to highlight them both. You can go ahead and um, group them, so we're working with them together by right-clicking and going to group, and then left-click again, and we'll bring our arrows to rotate it, and then we can rotate it together and bring it down in position over the A. sees a little bit the Cubs is a little bit different than what we have over here the 2013 looks close so we're gonna leave that so let's right click on Cubs and then go to ungroup so that will break it away from our 2013 and then just select Cubs and we're gonna stretch it just a little bit so you can see that C a little bit better maybe stretch this side too there we go zoom in there we go so now that looks a little bit better alright so now what we're gonna wanna do is we are going to select everything and we're going to convert it to curves and then you notice if you look under your object manager on the right hand side you see we still have this contour group we need to break that apart so it's a separate curve so we'll click both of those you hold control that way you can highlight both of them and then right click and oh we should have right click on the contour portion click break contour group apart alright so now we can change the colors we can do what we need to do and we want this black we're gonna want it white and we're gonna want cubs in 2013 also white
Okay, now we want to bring a t-shirt onto the uh, image so we can kind of mock this up so we can uh, put a t-shirt with it. So the site I use, the site I order my shirts through is snsactivewear.com and we're going to use that to get our shirt. So in here you just go to brand, we'll just use Gildan and we'll view all of the Gildan shirts and we'll go down to the ultra cotton and we want royal blue a front view of it click it and then go copy image and we can close out of this window now and then we'll just come back to our coral draw and we'll paste it there it is a little bit big in the wrong position no big deal so over here in our object manager we have what layer well it's all on layer one but we'll have what order each each curve is on and we see that the bitmap we just pasted in here is at the top so that's why it's in front of everything so all we want to do is just grab it drag it down to the last below the last curve and that'll put it behind everything and it's way too big so just grab the corner resize it put it back in position till we get what till we get what we think the customer is going to like so we don't need the original one I had anymore. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So now we're going to work with this. Now this is this is the image that we're going to end up sending the customer to get it approved before we before we print. So at this point you're going to want to go ahead and save it. Um we'll just I've done a couple of these, so we'll just save this as Let me create a folder real quick. Call this videos. We'll put it in there, and we'll call this Cubs Front, and we'll just save that as a cool draw file because we're gonna have to manipulate it. And then we're gonna want to go ahead and save it again as a JPEG so we can send it to the customer. So you go to export down here at the bottom. You want to make sure JPEG is selected, and then we'll put it back in a, a folder where we can get to it. Uh, videos, and there we go. Cubs Front and JPEG. And there you have it. This is going to conclude part one for the screen printing series. In the next part, we're going to go over separating the colors for the image. We're going to separate them so we can print them out on our transparencies and then take it into the dark room to make the screens.